Hey guys, in this video series we are going to take a look at the JSON library. This library is provided by Google and makes it very easy to turn Java objects into the JSON format, also called serialization, or the other way round, from a JSON to a Java object, also called deserialization. I will put a link to the source code of this example into the description box and let's start. So first we go into our build.gradle file with module colon app in its name and add the dependency for the JSON library. I'm going to put it here. I will also put a link to this dependency into the description box so we can copy it from there. When that's done, we click sync now, wait a short moment, and then we are ready to go. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a simple Java object, turn that into a JSON, and then take the same JSON and turn it back into a Java object. Nothing too complicated. So let's right click on our package and create a new Java class. We're going to call this class employee and click OK. And this employee class will contain three fields. Private string, we call it first name, private int age, and another private string, mail. We create a constructor, public employee, and here we pass those values, string first name, int age, and string mail, curly braces, and in here we assign our member variables to those values we get passed when we create an object of this employee. Since our member variables and those variables here have the same name, we have to write this.firstName for our member variable equals first name for the variable we get passed here. The same for the rest, this.h equals h and this.mail equals mail. Okay, now let's head over to our main activity Java file. For this example, we don't have to change the layout because we will see our results in the debugger. So we go into our onCreate method. And to use JSON, we create an instance of JSON. JSON, we call it JSON, equals new JSON. And now we create an object of our employee class. Employee, we call it employee, equals new employee. And here we define that we have to pass the first name, age, and the mail address. So for the first name, we pass John. He is 30 years old. And his mail address is john at gmail.com, semicolon. And now we want to turn this employee object into the JSON format. So we create a string JSON equals JSON dot to JSON. And here we simply have to pass our employee. And that's all we have to do to turn this employee object into this JSON string here. So let's put a break in here and run the debugger to see our result. So our debugger opens, and here we can see our JSON string. We can see that it ordered it alphabetically and put H at the start because it starts with A. But since JSON objects are unordered by definition, this doesn't matter. Now this is unformatted, so let's copy the value, which is the string itself, and put this into a JSON file. So I create a newer file, and I call it employee.json. Gonna paste this in here and press Ctrl Alt L to reformat and this looks better. And this is our employee object in form of a JSON. Now let's do the other way round. So I go back into the main activity. I'm gonna comment this part here out. And this time we don't create the employee object. We create our JSON in string form instead. String JSON equals and I have prepared this because we have to use these backslashes, otherwise it will recognize these quotation marks as the end of the string. And to avoid this, we have to use these backslashes before each quotation marks within the string. But this is the same JSON string as we got when we turned our employee into the JSON format. So this time we want to create an object of employee out of it. So we write employee, employee equals. Now we don't create a new employee, instead we take our JSON instance, dot from JSON this time, and here we have to pass our JSON string and the class we want to turn it into, which is our employee.class, semicolon. And now let's look at it in the debugger again. And now we can see that we have our employee object here and let's look at the fields. We have age 30, first name John, and the same mail address. So it created the same employee object as we had before, out of this JSON. Now one more thing, sometimes the key in the JSON might not fit to the 
variable name in the class. For example, this key here could be a first underscore name, but in our class we don't want to use this naming convention. Or for example, in our class we name our member variables with this m prefix like this, m first name, mh, and a mail. Let's change it down here as well. Like this. And now JSON wouldn't recognize that these variable names fit to these keys in the JSON. So what you can do in this case is we can annotate these variables with add serialized name. And here we pass the key name in our JSON. So this was first underscore name H and mail. So let's test this again in our main activity and see if it still works. Let's change this here to first underscore name and see if it turns this into our Java object. And we can see that it successfully passed these values to our member variables. And this is how you serialize and deserialize simple Java objects with JSON. If this was helpful, please leave a like. And if you want more intro tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.